Devontae Adams. Let's talk about Devontae Adams. The wide receiver, 48 on the season through three weeks. That's Gross. Yeah, you know, that's almost a quarter of the fantasy season. So yeah, I think there's reason. There's a reason he's in the panic room. Okay. And some stats for him. Uh, only two red zone targets. All right. Two red zone targets on the year. That's the same as Hunter Renfro. <laughs> What a great stat. <laughs> I know. I love that. But but a lot of what Devontae Adams, you guys said it on the show yesterday, what has made, you know, he's made his, his consistency has been built around touchdowns. Yep. It's not been built around yardage. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then, however, through three weeks on Pro Football Focus, he's graded out as the 11th best wide receiver so far. Aaron Rodgers has a great pass rating when targeting him. It's clear that he's his favorite receiver. I'll let you guys go. Um, after I do, because you're, 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 you share the same rating. I'm a two. I'm a little worried. I, I don't blame you for that. And the worry is, you know, not that he will rebound, right, to score some touchdowns for Aaron Rodgers. It's the expectation. He was drafted by a lot of people to be number one, number one at the position. The variable, there's a variable there. It's Matt Lafleur and the offense. There's a, they're three and zero. Oh. And they're three and zero with a Devonte Adams at wide receiver forty eight for fantasy. So, do I think he's a wide receiver forty eight? That's outlandish. He's not that. But do I think he's the one? No, I don't. This offense doesn't have the same level of dependency on the passing game that it's had in years past, um, and you can see that in the evidence. They're three and zero, but Green Bay is sitting here with an eleven percent decrease in pass attempts year over year. They were sixty seven percent of the time last year, fifty six percent of the time this year. If you take that out and a little bit of the inconsistency in terms of the target share, I think you have to adjust expectations. So I'm a two. Again, that's sure. not not a not a massive yeah, amount of worry. That's that's totally fine. Now, I might have misheard. So please correct me if I'm wrong. I am still struggling with this lifelong sickness. Um, but I believe Andy said he's going to let us go first. No. And then immediately. I said I'll let you guys go since you have the same. Uh, I meant like okay. you guys can go I next. I was like. Since you have the exact same number. Gotcha. It's really funny to me. I thought he's like, I'm going to let you go. Uh, but listen, <laughs> I'm gonna, this is a full Kanye West. Um, <laughs> I'm going to let you finish. I, but Yeah, but first. So I, I'm not panicked on him. Um, now, you're right, Andy, in, this, in the sense that they're passing the ball less and the ceiling to be the number one, that looks like a very low probability bet. But I'm not worried about Devonta Adams because I I do believe touchdowns are coming. Last week was a horrific matchup for him with Chris Harris Jr. I I you know Aaron Rodgers came out and said I want to get the ball to Devonta Adams more, and he's the one that controls that. I think Devonta Adams is still you know he's a great buy low candidate to me because if the owner believes what you believe, Andy, that like. His, his upside is really capped now if they're not throwing the ball, and you could sell him a little bit cheaper, I think you're going to, even if you're not getting the number one, you're getting a super talented wide receiver who's going to be a consistent, great fantasy producer, and I always want those on my team. Rodgers did say before the season he wants to give Devontae Adams more targets than he had last year, and through three games, executing on the hope hasn't happened, so I don't read a lot into him saying, he definitely needs more now. Sure, but if he said it right before the season and didn't do it through three games. Yeah, I mean, off-season hype is one thing, but literally referring to what just happened and correcting mistakes, I think that's a little bit more actionable than just off-season. You know, responding to a question. Um, Four targets is silly and won't right. happen a lot. Right. Mike, I'm at I'm at a one. I don't blame people if they're they are a bit panicked. I still think that Devontae Adams will finish the season as a top five guy. I think it starts this week against the Eagles secondary with uh, a hundo and a touchdown, and the the worries go away. Much like with Mike Evans last week, I think your buy right game. your buy low window is about to slam shut. Oh, hey! <laughs> I was just doing some heavy research. It's the research that makes the fantasy footballers great. Click that subscribe button and find out more.